Do you want to let your dog be a dog while walking on a leash? Take your best friend for a walk on a flexi retractable leash and give your dog the freedom to be a dog. Because the length of a retractable leash adjusts automatically as your dog moves, it allows for additional space to explore without any slack in the leash so that the leash does not end up between your dog's legs. This video will show you how, when, and where to use a flexi retractable leash by going over these four simple considerations. One, should you and your dog use a flexi retractable leash? Two, preparing for your walk. Three, proper use of your flexi leash. And four, special precautions for using retractable leashes. One, should you and your dog use a flexi retractable leash? The flexi retractable leash should only be used by responsible people who have read the special precautions and directions pamphlet and can follow all of the directions for use. Do not use this leash with a disobedient or uncontrollable dog because they're more likely to wrap the leash around people or to run off at high speeds. Only use the leash with a dog that does not exceed the weight limit displayed on the leash packaging. Follow all of these precautions even with a small dog. 2. Preparing for your walk You can use this leash anywhere you would normally go with your dog, but always be aware of your dog's added freedom. For example, if you go to the vet, groomer, or any crowded place, do not give your dog the additional freedom. In crowded areas, retract the leash fully and have the brake locked. Alternatively, you can use a regular non-retractable leash. Flexi retractable leashes include a safety collar that should always be used in addition to your dog's collar. The safety collar is designed to prevent snapback if your dog's collar breaks or if the leash disconnects from your dog's collar. Check the condition of all parts of the leash, safety collar, and your dog's collar before walking your dog to make sure that they aren't damaged, frayed, or broken. Never use a damaged leash or collar. To attach the leash, Place one of the rings of the safety collar in the snap hook of the leash. Place the safety collar around your dog's neck in addition to your dog's collar. Attach the leash hook to the D-ring of your dog's collar and the second ring of the safety collar. Never attach the leash to the ID tag or similar rings because they're not strong enough and will break. To detach the leash, make sure your dog is under control. Fully retract the leash and unhook the leash from both your dog's collar and the safety collar then remove the safety collar and keep it together with the leash for your next walk. 3. Proper use of your flexi leash. The retractable leash lets your dog move independently from you while the length of the leash adjusts automatically with the movement of your dog. Hold the leash only by the handle, never by the cord, tape, or belt. To temporarily stop the leash from extending further, Simply press and hold down the brake button with your thumb. With the leash fully retracted, press the brake button with your thumb and push the brake lock forward to hold the leash in place. To release the brake, draw back the brake lock to its original position. To bring your dog closer, extend your arm forward and press the brake button down. Step towards your dog and at the same time bring your arm to your side. Release the brake button and swing your arm toward the dog and press the brake button again. Repeat this process until your dog is at the desired distance. 4. Special precautions for using retractable leashes. Because this leash is retractable, you have to pay special attention and follow the special precautions and directions. Misuse of the product may result in injuries. Only use the leash with one dog at a time. Don't use the leash while on a bike, skateboard, rollerblades, or other moving objects. Remember, the leash is for pet walking only and should not be used as a toy. To avoid finger amputations and fractures, always hold the leash by the handle. Do not grab or hold the cord, tape, or belt at any time. The cord, tape, or belt may wrap around fingers or catch on a ring that could result in cuts, broken bones, or amputations. Always pay attention to your dog and your surroundings. To avoid potential cuts or burns by the cord, tape, or belt, avoid contact with it and never let it wrap around any part of your body. 
Always use the safety collar and inspect the leash, safety collar, and your dog's regular collar before each use to avoid eye and face injuries. Not following these precautions may cause serious eye damage, broken teeth, cuts, or bruises. If your dog starts running away from you, immediately press the brake to avoid falls. If you allow your dog to build up speed, your dog pulls harder on the leash and you might get pulled over. Respect your surroundings. Always use your leash in a responsible way to avoid injuries to bystanders. Pedestrians, runners, people on skates or bikes and other bystanders could also encounter any of the injuries that have been identified here. In particular, they can be cut by the leash if they come into contact with it or if it wraps around them. They may also trip over the leash. Bystanders may not notice the leash, especially when approaching at high speeds. Control your dog to keep the leash away from others. When around other people or animals, shorten the leash and keep your dog at your side with the leash locked. To assure that you're using the retractable leash correctly, please read and follow the entire Special Precautions and Directions pamphlet before using your Flexi Retractable Leash. The pamphlet is included with every leash package and can also be downloaded from FlexiUSA.com. For additional information, please visit our website at www.flexiusa.com. You can also contact us at info at flexiusa.com, and we will be happy to answer any questions as quickly as possible. At FlexiUSA, we won't sell a leash unless it is the highest quality and gives your dog all the freedom that your best friend deserves. Because we know that your dog just wants to be a dog while walking on a leash and you wouldn't want it any other way.